I should think you do after sending me the link for it. <laughs> Who's ready to party? Do you have to post everything? Can't you just be in the moment? Oh, um, you know how we said that we'd take you out for lunch? Uh, well, we can't now because me and your mum were working right through. Mm. It's fine, you'll just have to take me out for my tea instead. Oh, no, no, we can't because, sorry, but we're working really late. Yeah, sorry, both of us are. We'll have to do something at the weekend. Can I open Grandad's? Well, let's wait till he comes. To... Yeah, go on. Dear Amy, you have ten driving lessons all paid for. Oh. <laughs> Grandma Deirdre. <laughs> Just wish she was here. She'd be so proud of you. Oh, Steve. Can you believe that our baby is 18? Paper bins out the front. Um... Ooh, that's a nice bracelet. Is that new? Is it from that older fella that you're not seeing? Hilarious, but no, it was Asher and Summer. They clubbed together. Happy birthday! <laughs> They'd run out of eights in fresh ghost, so I did two knots with a cocktail stick through. <laughs> and it's a bit tall. <laughs> Got any matches? Yeah. Oh, is that that dress? Mm. I don't know. Tears? Yeah, I was worried it wasn't going to arrive in time, but it just came now. This is Amy. Right, no, but I mean, Tears? Is it some new trendy thing that I don't know about? No, Amy says sis. Sis Tears? So we stand next to each other, it says sisters. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Hiya. Oh, Asha's coming to help too. Time's Amy due. Uh, well, we'll finish up here. We'll text her and lure her over. Hey, she was really pleased with that present you and Asha bought her. Oh, good. Yeah, she's really hard to buy for, but they looked really her. They? Oh. Was there more than one? Well, yeah. Who'd want only one earring? <laughs> right. I thought it was a bracelet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it was like a set, you know, earrings, bracelet. Mismatching, though, because that's really in at the minute. Is there any cake? Yeah, I baked it. She's already blown her candles out once, but she's allowed another wish. Candles. The eight, you know, the eight for 18. Have you brought it? Oh, Steve, you were bringing it. <sighs> Right, I'll get it. No, wait, you won't find it. Well... Hold on. Hey, you're funny. Forgetting you bought an actual posh bracelet like you did rich or something. <laughs> Chains on. That's weird. Is she that back? No, I don't think so. He said he was going straight to the bistro from the library. Hey, May! Well, Amy's not going to put the chain on, is she? There's someone in here. What? There's movement. I've just seen somebody go out the back. I think they're being robbed. I'm going to go and check round here. He's here! Get Steve, get be it. careful! Right, no, girl here, don't move, no. I'll dare you to rob my house! Our house? I'm making a sense of rest. Go! Please, please. You were a scumbag. Grab it. Yeah, uh, we're on the corner of Rosamond Street by the Rovers Return no. Pub. Hey, we just caught a burglar. I know you. Hang on. Is that drug dealer that got our Simon into trouble? Jacob. You're too heavy. God, this is assault. You cheeky little beggar. I told you I hadn't done nothing. Uh, Carla, do us a favour, eh? <laughs> tell everybody the party's off. Please tell me Amy's OK. I don't know, Steve. She must have gone out somewhere. Look, on my life, and I, 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 I never took nothing. Just search me. Oh, the police will be doing that, pal. Don't you worry. Yeah, and if you're so innocent, how come you put a lock on the front door and you did a runner out the back? Didn't. I wasn't. Oh, that's all, yeah. Just search me, yeah? Please. I can't get in trouble with the police. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, mate. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Anyway, it's out of my hands now, so... 
Yeah, so there I am. Can't get through the door, look through the window, and I see this one running across our hallway like a bat out of hell. It wasn't me. Oh, officer, he is a well-known scally. Drug dealing, violence... Yes, says who? I think we need to sort this at the station. We'll need a statement. Oh, yeah, well, the thing is, officer, it's my daughter's birthday, so... Shouldn't take too long. And as far as being innocent, you should check your records. He nearly got my nephew killed for a start. Are you taking me in, then, or what? Amy, can you call me back, please? This is the third message. Oh, there you are. I've been trying to call you. Uh, my phone died. Why are you here? What do you mean? Well, you said that you were working late. Yeah, I know that I said that, but we were actually at the bistro trying to put on a little do for your birthday, and then we popped back here oh, and... We? So where's Dad? You might well ask. Up until 20 minutes ago, he was sat on the head of that little tow rag, Jacob. <sighs> What? What happened? We caught him trying to rob this place. Can you believe it? Uh, so where's he now? He's at the police station, pleading innocence. Well, good luck with his track record. You called the police? Yeah, and your dad's there now, giving a statement. Amy, I'm just pleased you didn't come back earlier and disturb him. What have you got there? An Indian takeaway. Blimey, there's enough to feed an army. Yeah, um, I thought that me, you and Dad could have, like, a nice, you know, birthday take. Oh, babe, I'm so sorry about your party. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we wait for your dad to come back and we can heat that lot up? As it goes, I'm not feeling that great. Really? Right, that's it, got on the sofa. No, no, it's fine. I... You might be 18, but you're still my little girl, so get on the sofa, take your shoes off, and I'll go up and get you a duvet. Just pleased he didn't nick the telly. Like I said. I think that police officer was quite impressed with my cat-like reflexes. Apprehending that little toe rag. Cat-like reflexes? Steve, you dropped on him like a sack of spuds and then you sat on his head. Uh, I think that's a bit of a slight exaggeration. Anyway, the most important thing is, is that I averted a crime. So did you actually see him in the house? Yes. No doubt he'd been rifling through our belongings. I wonder why he didn't take the laptop. Ugh, that thing's so old, you have to wind it up. No, th they're looking for things that they can flog, like in a pub. Hmm. No knocked off gear in here, thank you very much. Well, at least it didn't do any damage. You hear about robbers writing on the walls with all sorts, don't you? There's no such thing as a victimless crime. That lad is a wrong gun, I'm telling you now. Well, yeah, I know, but well, maybe he didn't really want to be a criminal and maybe he just kind of fell into it and when he really wants to turn the clock back. My bleeding heart. It's rubbish it ruined Amy's party, though. Oh, she's not feeling well. I doubt she would have wanted to go. Actually, Steve, shall I go back and check on her? She'll be fine. It was her idea that we came out anyway. And to be honest, I'd rather finish my pint knowing that she's nicely tucked up on the settee and I'm not worrying about her gallivanting with a fancy man. Oh, this again. And fancy man. Yeah, well, as far as your father is concerned, with you and Amy, he turns into an overprotective patriarch from a 1940s movie. Like in Dirty Dancing, <laughs> or the dad from Finding Nemo. Mm. So our barely 18-year-old daughter dating some guy that's old enough to remember flower power is all right, is it? Uh, when did I say it was all right, Steve? No, I was hoping for Ed Sheeran, not Val Dunican. Ed Sheeran's about 30. Is he? You see, even Ed Sheeran is too old. I'm sort of romantic, though. Forbidden fruit. <laughs> you sound like Mary. Well, how old is too old anyway? Drink up. Why did Amy bring home all that takeaway saying it was for us when she knew that we were working late because we'd lied to her? Why'd she done that, eh? Well... And then when she knew that you were there, she's like, oh, no, I've lost my appetite, and she's ill all of a sudden. Sometimes... No, well, my eyes, she's brought it for him, ain't she? A fancy man. Look, I know you both only want what's best for us. I do. But Amy's old enough to make her own decisions about who she wants to be with. Well, we'll see about that, won't we? Come on, drink up. Oh, Steve. Get it down, yeah? Steve, try not to be too, you know, you. Remember what happened in Dirty Dancing when the dad put baby in the corner? Yeah, remind me. Oh! Feeling better? Thought you were ill. Uh, yeah, 
I, I was, but Mum was right, you know, having a nap really helped. And where are you going now, exactly? And don't lie. You're going to see him, aren't you? Who? Don't talk to us like we're stupid. Bloke! How old is he, exactly? I don't even know what you guys are talking about. It's my birthday, remember? So, I'm going to go down to the pub and buy myself a drink. If that's all right with you. Well, we could get you a drink next door. That's just sad. Won't be late. Have fun. Has she got one of their apps on her phone? So we can track her, find out where this bloke lives. You never learn, do you? Night. Night.